In this video tutorial, I'm going to cover the main topic of API. We're not going to go into the great length details of API since it's a highly technical subject area and it's mainly dedicated toward developers and people who work with software and coding. But what I do want to show you is the basics of API for you as a Katana user so you can understand how it can benefit your business especially when it comes to integrating it for not just custom workflows, but also the different types of software that you use in your company. So to start this off, um, what I have here in front of me is the settings page, and there is an option in there called API. API is a functionality that is only available on advanced subscriptions and above. So you need to make sure that you're on that subscription tier in order to start working with API. Now, what does API do? I'll give you a little presentation and we'll cover some of the details on this topic in general and how it's beneficial for our Katana users. So I'll hop right into this and I'll, I'm going to keep it super simple, relatively easy to understand. What is an API and how does it work? So API stands for Application Programming Interface and it's basically where you have one platform or software that makes a request through the internet to another software or platform. And then that software or platform will receive the request and then provide a response back to the one where the request originated. This is basically all API is. It enables you to communicate some pieces of data with a certain type of request from another software solution and provide a response. That's all it is, nothing too complicated, but when it comes to the context of workflows in your business, building these integrations will enable you a lot more efficiency gains and uh, make it easier for you to use Katana, for example, with a variety of other softwares. API requests actually provide information in a variety of different ways. Uh, there is post requests, which create new data. There are get requests, which basically reads information. So for example, if you make a request, can I get this sales order number, the user, the name of the customer on it, that would be kind of a way to pull information from your Katana account outside of Katana instead of going inside of the software and looking for it. Patch would be an update. So for example, let's say that a customer on your e-commerce solution made a change in real time, and that change needs to be reflected from your e-commerce solution back into your Katana account because that affects your demand with all of your products. So that would be an example of a patch, like updating a sales order, for example. Delete, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. If uh, for some reason, some piece of data in another software is deleted and it affects something in Katana, you would want to maybe send a request for that. And of course, there's plenty of others of different types of API calls that can be made. So that's just a general overview of the main types of calls that are available with API in general. Couple of use cases for APIs, how they're used. You can use APIs for manufacturing automation, such as updating a manufacturing order if a sales order changes. Um, you could also pull backups of data, for example. So like once a day or once every couple of hours, you automatically send a request to the Katana database and extrapolate information. So you always have some form of backup available. You can do e-commerce automation. A good example of this is Katana doesn't pull in shipping prices on a sales order. So you can, every time a sales order is generated, you can pull a request to capture that value from your e-commerce solution and then immediately put it as a line item in your uh, Katana sales order, for example. You can auto create manufacturing orders. Let, let's say for example, you aren't really doing the manufacturing element inside of uh, Katana. So you might want to track auto assembly. So just automatically pull materials in real time, or you can automatically create make to order manufacturing orders, which will just simply automatically create uh, the tasks for your manufacturing team if you're a make to order business. Also, you can extract data for custom reporting on an analytics platform. So maybe you have something like Power BI or some other type of uh, powerful analytics tool because you're not happy with Katana Insights, for example, you can extract data and do deeper analyses uh, using uh, API calls, for example. But there's endless workflows between different platforms and API is what makes it possible for you to do those types of things. So I'll keep it again, super simple. And that's the main thing I wanted to cover. Now, when it, we're talking about the basics of API in, in the form of its application, just want you to be aware that Katana integrations are using the API functionality 
for these integrations that we have built. So these integrations, which make it very easy for you to just click and connect and then have pull in information, all of that's being managed through an API connection. It's just that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to program it or create anything to do it. So in essence, this is already built on top of Katana's existing API connections. Now there's also uh, third party integrations, which integrate with Katana using the API connections. All of these third party integrations are available on all uh, subscription levels. It's just that if you want to start getting more into more comprehensive uh, integrations where it might require some custom coding or some more uh, comprehensive use cases with unsupported softwares, you'll need the API and how to connect it to those um, softwares would be important to understand. So these are available on everything, just so you know. But API, in order to use API, um, once you're on the correct subscription, then what you're actually going to be doing is generating something called an API key. And these API keys uh, can be, uh, basically they're, they're a key that you would provide to the other software. So that way your softwares that are working together will have encrypted access between the databases. It's very important to make sure that your API keys are kept secret because these are encrypted access points between your software and another software. And if any of your information is confidential or business sensitive, don't share your API key out just as a forewarning. But to generate an API key, you'll, you'll select add a new API key. It'll give you an API key right here. And then you can name that, for example, whatever purpose it's generated for. So let's say, for example, you have an outside software, you could put the software name here. And then that software name will essentially be the uh, software that is using this API key and select done. That's it. And if you need to delete it, you can delete it like so. No problem. You can also create these new webhooks here as well. And these webhooks will be providing uh, a URL where it will be subscribed to. And this is where certain information related to that will be sent off from your Katana account to outside softwares. Now, getting deeper into uh, API and some of the resources available in Katana for people that want to work with API keys, for example, if you are generating API keys, a couple of things that I would recommend looking into, especially if you're non-technical, is that you can take an API key and associate it with a no-code workflow integrator. So that we, we have quite a few of these. If you go to our integrations page and choose the automation option, there are at six at the moment. A uh, common one would be like make.com, uh, also uh, Zapier, if you're familiar with it, Sync Hub, Pipe 17, Integrately, and Extensive. All of these are tools that will allow you to use an, an intermediary between your Katana account and some other software that we don't natively or have a third-party integration with. And then you can use this intermediate tool to create dedicated workflows that help you ex push information from Katana to one other software or from the other software back into Katana where it's necessary. So if you are somebody who's non-technical, but you do have a good solid understanding of trigger action mechanisms or what type of information you want to flow from one place to another, I definitely recommend going into our integration page, choosing automation and trying out a variety of diff these different integrator tools. Now, if you're not a technical person and you're not good with any no code solutions, but you know what needs to be done, then you probably would hire a developer or you would be working directly with um, maybe one of our partners. Something that I could recommend for you is that if you're looking for anybody to help with the workflows and automations through API, on our katanamrp.com forward slash partner directory, you'll find a full list of various partners that you can work with who provide developer services, automation experts who can assess your use case and then provide you a more comprehensive solution using an API key to connect with the software to give you the desired outcome that you wish. So definitely recommend uh, choosing workflow and automation. You can also maybe choose software implementation as well, but these types of guys all along this list, we have a ton of resources 
that you can employ who are familiar with uh, Katana and the API environment. Now, on the other hand, if you're highly technical and you love going into technical stuff and you are a developer, we have two very nicely usable resources that you can tap into. Uh, one would be our developer portal. So there's a lot of information in here with respect to uh, providing resources for developers who want to integrate with Katana. This is everything from people who want to make their own custom software integrations because they, maybe they have a software themselves to people that are working with customers doing workflows and automation. You can check this page. There's a lot of stuff here. There's some guides. There's change logs. So we're always doing releases with updates to the API. Something very useful for you to stay up to date on as well. And last but not least, um, most importantly, is our API developer page. Here you'll find all of the resources where you can have a closer look at the different API calls that are supported. You can get some copies of snippets as needed and use those uh, to test out the different integrations that you're working on. So I hope that this API overview will give you a nice uh, bit of a resource to give you a head start as you start navigating this area of Katana. And of course, if you uh, have questions, you're always more welcome to reach out to our team. And uh, we're always happy to suggest great partners to help you build what it is that you need. All right, best of luck to you. Thanks for watching.